Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Kanziger, or as a lot of the students like to call me, Mr. K. Now, before I get started talking about the different classes, we're going to play a little game that I'm going to call Mr. K by the numbers. So what we're going to do is come up with some important numbers here. So the first number is going to be 29. And 29, that's the number of years I've been teaching. Or I should say this is the 29th year, the start of the 29th years. Um, so I've been at this quite a while teaching both in the classroom as an, and as an elected teacher. I've been at Cape Fear Academy 18 years. So, been here for uh, quite a while as well. I started out in the first grade classroom uh, and about 12 years ago started doing some electives. Three, that is the number of alumni children that I have. So my daughter Ellen, uh, she graduated in 2014. My daughter Megan, she graduated in 2016, and my son Eric graduated in 2018. So I've been on both sides. I've been a teacher, I've been a parent, uh, so I know a little bit about what you're all going through. Uh, one, uh, this is my wife, who also works at CFA. She works over in the theater department, where she is the production coordinator, and she also does costumings and helps build sets and just lots of things she does around the school. So what we can see from these numbers is, first of all, I'm getting a little bit old, but second of all, I've had a lot of years of experience of teaching, and it's something that I love to do. What I'd like to talk to you about right now is a brand new course we have called Practical Computing. This course is offered to sixth graders, and I have two goals for this course. The first is, I want the students to be aware of digital citizenship. And this has a lot of different factors in it, but among the big ones are, one, you have an online presence you need to be aware of what that presence is and the responsibilities that go along with it. There's a lot of places on the internet where you can get yourself into trouble, so how do you avoid that? How do you say stay safe online? And at the same time, how do you make your online experience something for the greater good? And so we'll be talking about that within the class. At the same time, we're going to be learning about all the really cool machines and software that we have available to us in the Innovation Lab. Now, I'm going to include a link below that takes you to a 360 degree tour of the Innovation Lab. You can even put on uh, VR goggles if you want and experience that in full 360. Or you can just watch it on YouTube or on your phone. And if you move your phone around, you'll be able to see everything that you want. In the room, we have a lot of equipment that the students have access to. And it doesn't have to be just for my class. So if they have a project in social studies and they want to come in and use one of the machines in my room, I am all for that. So if they want to build the Roman Colosseum in 3D and then use one of our 3D printers to do so, they can do that. If they need to make a poster for another class, we have a large format printer that can do a 2 foot by 4, 5, 6, 10 foot poster. They can do that. We've got uh, CNC machines, including a CNC laser and a CNC router. So if there's something that they can construct using those machines, they will be able to do that. They will learn how to use these machines, and I will teach it in a way that brings it uh, towards the classroom environment. So not just teaching them, this is what a 3D printer can do, but this is how a 3D printer can be used to make projects. So, essentially, two goals in this class. One, be a good online citizen, and two, look at all this amazing technology that we have access to. How can you use this? How can you make your, pro your projects really stand out from other people's.